I'm going to explain something about keywords and Malcolm, you can put your two cents in. I have had keywords on TubeBuddy that scored a hundred percent. I've had keywords on vidIQ that are extremely high. They're guessing because there's no magical keyword that you're going to put in, in any description, in any video that's going to make your video do the best it's ever going to do. The content itself is what's going to make your video do well. You get those people to watch that video as long as possible. Not one keyword in this universe is going to be the magic dust that makes everything all better. You just have to make sure that your video has to do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is describe the title and your thumbnail is extremely clickable. That's, that's the key. There's no, there's no magical keyword that's going to help you, you know, make it all better and get tons of views. Yeah, I, I mirror that for the most part. Um, and just as long as we're clear that when she says it's all depend on your content, the title and the thumbnail are part of your content. Mm -hmm. That is part of that creative process is you have to come up with a good title and a good thumbnail that are very clickable. And I mean, I've seen people do have hire videographers and make these beautiful videos. And then they, they just don't even care about the title and the thumbnail and just throw something up there. Exactly. So keyword research, I still do a lot of keyword research. I like doing it sometimes, uh, not a lot. I do a little bit of keyword research just to give me an idea of what people are actually looking for. And then sometimes, you know, uh, like I, people search for the exact phrase, things to do in Maryland or things to do in Annapolis. And I look for um, ideas for videos by doing keyword research. Mm -hmm. So restaurants in Lancaster, PA, like, yeah, that, that could be the start of an idea for a video right there. And I mean, if you did top 10 restaurants in Lancaster, PA, you know, that'd be a perfectly fine title uh, or my favorite restaurants in Lancaster, PA. And yeah, that's, um, that'd be a good video right there. And I, I think that would probably would get some good uh, traction. Um, I don't really use TubeBuddy or vidIQ score when they talk about the different scores and how much competitive you have with that. I don't really focus on that too much, honestly. I used to. I used to spend yeah. a lot of time on that. Like, I Yeah, I mean, keyword research, I still do it. Um, it's not the secret sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I know people literally saying, oh, this is a secret sauce. You got to figure out what keywords people are searching for, and it's not. Um, everybody knows about keyword research. Um, the secret sauce, if there is one, it'd be to have a high click-through rate. And you have a high click-through rate by having a very compelling title and a very intriguing and captivating uh, thumbnail. Well, I was like, from what I was reading from a Google article, is that um, they were they want more natural language when it comes to blog posts now. So that when people like doing what you say you're doing, you know, you're trying to weigh out as many density, blah 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 blah. Yeah. They, they're like, no, no more of that. They want natural sounding, readable text. They don't like that, like all those little systems of trying to make your blog post rank better because of this specific code or method or mathematics isn't going to work anymore. <laughs> yeah. And they can read on a fourth grade reading level. Mm -hmm. um, so they understand that living in Maryland is the same as moving to Maryland. Uh, and let me let me show you share my screen real quick here. So if you type in this moving in moving to Maryland in Google, my mm -hmm. video living in Maryland pros versus cons ranks on the first page of Google for them, even though I don't have moving to Maryland in the title. Mm -hmm. But they're smart enough that they know living in Maryland and moving to Maryland are pretty much the same thing. And I we can cite uh, thousands of examples of videos that don't have the exact keyword in the title that are ranking for that search term and you can do it yourself go on uh, go on youtube and just type anything in and pay attention to the top 10 results of how many of them have that exact phrase a lot of them may have um one or two words or similar words to them but it doesn't have to be that exact phrase um to get your video to actually rank for that if you want to learn more about using YouTube in your real estate business, click right here to check out another video. And if you want to earn an extra $100,000 a year in commission just from making YouTube videos, check out my course at youtubeleadgen.com, link down below.